Hey everybody, uh, this is the Twixter tutorial and this is probably the most requested tutorial I've ever had. So it's been a long time coming, but uh, I feel it's a good time to break this one out. Twixter is an After Effects plugin that essentially uh, takes a shot and then adds phantom frames in between each frame to give yourself slow motion footage. The first thing I would say is always use a tripod. Twixter does not do well with motion blur, especially camera motion blur. Subject motion blur, of course, you compensate for this with shutter speed. But camera motion blur, not very well at all, so always use a tripod. Shoot in uh, 1280, 720, 60 frames a second as often as you can. This uh, helps the program along by giving it the most real frames to work with. Another thing is motion blur kills Twixter. So shooting at a shutter speed of a thousand or higher is almost essential. So a good low light lens is gonna be key. Uh, so most of my tests today will be using the 50 millimeter f1.8. You could do this using another lens, but you'd have to bump up ISO so high that you wouldn't be able to color correct so much. So I don't like to get into that. So really all the tests I usually do are on the 50 millimeter f1.8. And if you have a better lens than that, definitely use that lens for your Twixter shots. The last thing I would say is pay attention to your background. If you have too detailed of a background, Twixter has a hard time picking out what's moving in the shot. So a solid colored background, a blurry background is sometimes always the best. If you have your subject out in the open and you can get a lot of blur behind them, that's good. Have your camera on a tripod, shoot at 60 frames a second, use a low light lens, get your shutter speed up to a thousand or so, and then just be sort of mindful of the background. If you can stay away from having too detailed of a background, like a brick wall that's a foot away from your subject, do that because it will end up helping you in the editing process. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to go over the editing process of doing a Twixter shot, and I'll be uh, editing in After Effects CS3. So after you have your shot imported over here in the project window pane, click on your shot, right click, go to interpret footage, click on main, and then let's go ahead and conform the frame rate to 23.976. After we've done that, let's go ahead and drag the file into a new composition. And this is our uh, slow-mo shot uh, slowed down to 23.976. Uh, I'll go ahead and disable the audio and change the preview quality to half. So the first thing I like to do is to find uh, the point in the shot that I want to turn it into slow motion. And I think with this shot it's good when the flame just comes out and Pete kind of gets this shocked look on his face like he's scared for his life. Just get the cursor to that spot and let's add the Twixter uh, plugin. Um, and this is just the basic Twixter. They have a Twixter Pro as well. The first thing I do is uh, change the input frame rate to 23.976. And then I uh, change the frame interpretation from blend to motion weighted blend. That's all we should do for right now. Let's go ahead and set a keyframe at 100%. And then we'll go ahead and go forward uh, four frames. And let's go ahead and change the speed to 5%. Now let's uh, select these and hit F9. So they're uh, not just hard keyframes, they're ease in. So that's uh, looking pretty good. I think uh, what we can do to just enhance it a little bit more is change motion sensitivity all the way up to 100. So really it just came down to finding the right place to slow it down. You won't end up slowing down a shot exactly where you want, but there should be a couple spots in there that you can do it that will look good. Uh, so the last thing, just throw a Newman Films preset on here. Let's go with Bleach Bypass. Make it a little less contrasty, maybe. Mess with the curves a little bit. If I, you know, if I can suggest anything, it's it's be prepared to uh, have to work around the program and be get a little frustrated. The work around, uh, just like the 4K thing, the work around is is worth it uh, in the right context. If you really need a super slow motion shot there are ways you can do it. So it's good to know how to use Twixter because of the fact that it can produce some really amazing results. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope you come back for the 4K tutorial on Wednesday.
go somewhere else to do this? Well, we could. I'd kind of like to go somewhere else just to get test shots in general. Let's go somewhere else. Uh, I wish we could use this school. What school? Macomb. Macomb? Maybe Macomb. school's out. Time to shout! It's ten to three. <laughs> but we need to, we, that's what we need to do is, is, like, the person who's actually doing the flame would be a little, like, a foot away. Well, we could do it like this, like you're giving fire to her and she's giving it back. Because then it could go... This is going to go out. Look. No, I know, but we don't need... We're doing slow-mo, so... Let's go burn down that barn, dude. I think it's key with this one, though, to get shutter speed at the absolute... Uh, I'm going to make sure not to forget this. I think it's key to get the shutter speed as fast as I can. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Hell of a day, isn't it? Total Recall. 1989, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ah! Directed by Paul Verhoeven. Co-starring Sharon Stone. Based off a of Philip K. Dick novel. Yeah, dude. Okay. So, you fine with the lighter? Yeah. Oh my god. Is that not good? Here, here's some. Yeah, you can throw them at me, dude. <laughs> um. Oh, I, I got a cool shot. You up on the ladder, mm. doing the fire, and I, you know, like the shot from below. The shot. <laughs> the shot! Give him the Got shot. That shot! I'm bouncing. I want a barbecue. We can wait for the wind. Okay. Okay, can we bounce? Three, two, go. Yeah, dude! Okay. Stay there. Can you burn your hand? No! Are you sure? Well, it's not bad. It's just, you know, there's open flame on it. No. <laughs> Dude, come on. Don't be a <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving that to you. <laughs> you be? Yeah. Stay there, brother. Can we go hit pause on the uh, behind the scenes, please? No!